Hello friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we will see how you can reference variables in Azure DevOps pipeline and also their right syntax to use. Azure pipeline supports three different ways to reference variables, macro, template expression, and runtime expression. And each syntax can be used for different purpose and have some limitations. Now we can see with an example, these different types of reference for these variables. You see, I already have this pipeline here. These template expressions, these type of reference these variables which are referred like this with this type of syntax they are called template expressions and the variables here if you see down something like this dollar and within brackets the variable name so i have defined here some variables like variable name one with the value variable name static var with the static value variable name compile var and this is getting referenced again values will come from here at the compile time i will explain what does that mean so these variables are being referred and used in the steps here so any variable which is referenced like this is a macro variable and runtime expressions are something like this which are normally used for conditions so these are runtime expressions when the task will be running it will figure out the value for this particular variable and then it can be used uh, within the stage or in one of the tasks also you can note here that the macro syntax to define a macro variable the syntax remains same whether you call it in bash or in powershell or in a script so you can see here if i call it in bash i am still referencing it the syntax remains same whether it is in powershell or in a script it remains same now that you know how to express template expression variable or the macro variable or a runtime expression the question is what syntax should i use so the simple answer is use macro syntax if you are providing input for a task as you can see here you can provide as input to a task and the reason behind is because it gets processed during runtime before the task runs macro syntax is designed to interpolate variable values into task inputs and into other variables when the system encounters a macro expression it replaces the expression with the contents of the variable if there is no variable by the name then the macro expression is left unchanged also point to note here is that macro syntax variables are only expanded for stages jobs and steps you cannot use macro syntax inside a resource or a trigger now you should use runtime expression if you are working with conditions and expressions so if you see here i have this runtime expression here and this value i'm going to use as a condition here so if this variable is main is true then only this stage will get executed so runtime expression variables are only expanded when they are used for a value not as a keyword values appear on the right side of the pipeline definition and for the last one if you are defining a variable in a template then you should use template expression because template expressions something like this will be processed at the compile time before runtime starts so this will be processed at the very beginning you can see here this example which i have put here in the steps i am running this template expression to show its value in this particular step and then in bash script we will update the value for this variable one to a different value and then we are again trying to access the values using template expression as well as using macro expression but you will see that this expression gets its value at the compile time so during runtime any changes which happen don't reflect in template expression they will reflect in the macro variable but they will not reflect in template expression because the values are set at the compile time itself so let's run this pipeline to see how these values are displayed. So our pipeline has run now and we'll see the values for our variables. So if you see here, template expression value, which was initial value, the value was like that. And when we express the variable as macro variable, the, the value is initial value. Here we have set that variable to a new value. And again, we pass that value for the variable. In the template expression, it remained the same. Whereas for the macro variable, it reflected the new value for the variable. And also the value for runtime expression has come back as true. Now, because this is true, the stage B will get executed because that was the condition which we have applied. And you can see here, it has executed the stage based on the runtime expression condition. So I hope this will help you to reference the variables in your DevOps pipeline and use them with the right syntax. Thank you so much for watching this session. See you in the next one.